Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about the three main steps of RSA crypto system, and demonstrate how it works step by step with the formulas. The RSA is a public key or a symmetric key algorithm. It is named after Reynold Ravist, R.D. Shamir, and Leonard Altman, three contributors to the RSA. RSA is mainly used for two applications: transport asymmetric keys and digital signatures. RSA uses one-way function. Multiplying two large prime numbers is easy, but determining the original prime number from the product or factoring is very difficult. Here is how it works in a general picture. Suppose that Bob wants to send his message M to Alice. M is in plain text, but he wants to encrypt first. Both Alice and Bob agree to use RSA algorithm to deliver the message over the public, insecure channel. Bob must know Alice's public key to encrypt the message, and Alice must use her private key to decrypt the message. The process involves three major steps. Step one: Alice generates a pair of Keys, a public key and a private key. She sends the public key to Bob. Step two: Bob uses Alice's public key to encrypt his message, and sends the encrypted message to Alice. Step three: Alice uses her private key to decrypt the encrypted message. Now let's see the process in detail. This time, I've only discussed the process with the math formulas, which could be boring and confusing. Please do not give up easily. As we see one simple example later on, it could become more clear. Step one: Alice will generate a key pair, her public key and a private key. First. Select P and Q. Both P and Q are two very large distinct prime numbers. Then calculate n. n is equal P times Q. Very simple. Then compute phi function n. Phi function n simply is P minus one times Q minus one, and phi function Is to get the number of co prime with the number of n. Then find the integer e that must satisfy two conditions. One, e must be larger than one, but smaller than phi function n. Two, the greatest common divisor. Of e and phi function a is one, which means e and phi function a are co-prime. At this point, Alice gets her public key, e and a, which can be sent to Bob. Now Alice will also generate her private key. Private key D is calculated from the number n and e. Calculate private key D、uh, such that D times e modulo phi function n equal one. And D can be many different numbers. We simply choose one number. Alice get the private key D and A, which she will keep and use to decrypt the message. 
Step two for Bob: encryption of his message M. Suppose Bob's message M represents his plain text and is treated as integer, as in a formula where M is less than n. In this process, Bob will use Alice's public key to encrypt his message. Plain text M is encrypted with Alice's public key E and M. The formula to encrypt M is C equal M to the power of E modulo M, where C is the cipher text. Step three is for Alice. Decryption of cipher text. So after Alice gets the encrypted message from Bob, she uses her private key D and N to decrypt the cipher text with the formula M equal C to the power of D modulo M. So M represents a message or a plain message. In next video, I will use a simple math to explain and demonstrate how it works. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.